Welcome back. This is another Digital Adventures Let's Build with me, Jim. Today we will be doing a uh, another Among Us task, which was requested uh, in the comments. So thank you very much for that. Um, we are going to be doing wiring, um, which is uh, somewhat difficult to figure out in Scratch if you don't know um, how to use the pen tool that or the pen extension that much. But I will show it to you. Now, I have my, I have six sprites. I have a blue starting pin for the wire, and then we have the blue two, which is the end, and I have a red one and a red two. I'm only doing two today uh, because I'm, they're basically the exact same code, um, but I just want to make sure you can duplicate the code without messing up the previous one, um, and then you can go on and make four or five or six later. And I also have a wire. Uh, this is so that I can draw wires nicely between these pins without worrying about how long they need to be um, because I'm going to clone it and so forth. Uh, so let's get started with the code. Uh, I'm going to go into this sprite, which I didn't talk about, but it is called Sprite 3, but it's just going to be basically the mouse cursor. It's going to act as um, a way for us to figure out if we're clicking onto and holding and dragging a wire. And then it'll also give us the ability to draw between sprites. So um, let's go inside of variables. I have two variables. One is the blue wire, one is the red wire. These are just going to tell me whether or not they are connected. And if they are connected, if everything is connected, then we win, right? Um, so those two will be made first, and those are for all sprites. Uh, next, of course, the coding. When green flag clicked inside of this sprite here, of course, uh, we need to set those values to zero. So the game starts off with the blue wire and red wire at zero. And then we need to um, set the pen size. So if you don't have a pen, you go here grab the pen. Uh, pen size. Oop, set pen size to, let's do something pretty wide so that it's like thick like a wire. Um, and then we are going to erase all in case there's some extra pen from the previous time we played the game. And then we are going to have this thing follow our mouse pointer all the time forever and ever. So that's forever go to mouse pointer. Okay, and the next step is we need to detect when this has attached itself to a first wire. Um, we're going to start that in a new block of code. When green flag clicked, uh, forever, of course, because this action will be, you should always be allowed to grab a wire. Um, wait until we're going to wait until this dot is touching a red wire and the mouse is clicked down so we'll need an and block and we'll need a couple sensing blocks so with mouse down and touching red one that means that we have clicked with this little sprite red one now we should start drawing. As long as we're holding down, we should draw a line basically between our mouse pointer and the lead pin or the red one pin or sprite, you can call it. Um, let's set the color to red. I can go over here and just click that exact red. That wasn't right. Let's make that bigger. <laughs> exact red. Oh, it's clicking on the sprite. <laughs> Let's pause my game. There we go. It was clicking on the dot. Okay, pen color has been set. And now I want to draw a line between the mouse pointer and red one. Go to uh, red one. There you go. And then pen down. Whoops, pen down's over here, which means the pen will be drawing now. So it goes to the red one, which is here. Then we put our pen down and draw to uh, the mouse pointer. Uh, 
so we can say go to mouse pointer it's easy enough right and then pen up so our drawing is done um, so that probably doesn't do anything yet yeah it wouldn't do anything yet because it only draws it instantly um, what we want to do is let it stick around a little bit we can do a wait 0 0.1 seconds it's a very short amount of time so that way it'll redraw the line while our mouse is moving instead of um, like drawing the line and never making the line go away which would mean it would just fill in the background you can kind of see yeah, you can't see it quite yet um, I missed something so what I missed the reason why this doesn't work is because it'll only draw once I needed to draw until so repeat until around all this until I'm not a mouse down so until I lift up Yeah, that's an important one. Sorry about that. Uh, so we can test that. And you see it draws the line, but they all stay there. So to fix that, we do wait one second and erase all. Um, and this should draw the line over and over again. We'll see. There we go. It'll flicker a little bit, and that's just what you're going to have to deal with with uh, Scratch. You could do an even shorter amount. And that, that might be better. Yeah, that's not so bad. Um, so try out, you know, low numbers there and see which one works best for uh, your game. I'll do 0 0.1. Um, now, it's great that we're drawing things, but I want to, now that I'm drawing, I want it to snap to this lead, this wire. Um, that red 2 sprite so when I let go so after this repeat until we're going to check if we are touching red 2 and if I am if I'm touching red 2 oh no <laughs> uh, if I'm touching red 2 we're going to do something and that something is going to be if touching red 2 we're going to set red wire to 1 meaning that red wire has been activated. And now we need to handle drawing of the actual wire that stays there forever. The pen tool we can't really keep using for this because we need it again for blue and that's gonna start getting complicated with having to draw this line all the time and then drawing this line. So what I'm gonna do is have this wire connect to uh, connect, make the connection. Now, Always, when we have something like this wire that I'm going to clone, I want to hide the original one. And then we're going to just uh, clone it over and over again um, and show the new clones. So let's go ahead and say um, wait until. We're going to wait until the red wire is equal to 1, which means... that it made the connection. Because remember, we start with zero with the red wire, you make a connection, it now equals one, it'll activate the code underneath. You could probably use a broadcast here, but I don't particularly like using those. Um, now we're gonna tell that uh, wire to go to red one, and then it needs to point towards red one, and then um, the color we also need to make sure the color is correct so we can go to looks hmm where's the set color there it is uh, zero is actually fine for red uh, but when it turns to blue we'll have to change the color to a different number um, which you kind of have to play around with I don't I don't have the colors memorized um, so after it's basically gone to red, pointed towards it, so it went to red one, now it's pointing towards the end wire. Now we just need to clone it all the way across. And we're gonna do that with repeat until touching red two. So it's gonna keep cloning. Um, 
we're going to make sure that they all show up and they all create or it creates a clone every time it moves and then we also want to make sure it moves um, a certain amount of steps um, I'll put that before the clone creation so that way um, well you could probably do either one it might look a little weird we'll see I'll let go <laughs> so I messed up somewhere <laughs> point towards red one yeah it should be red two so it was supposed to point to red too. Sorry about that, folks. Might have to fix that. All right, try that again. Perfect. So now it's going to stay there. It's stuck. I can grab another wire, but it's not going to do anything. I guess I can keep drawing <laughs> the line over and over again, but we have a wire uh, from red to red, and it says my red wire is equal to 1, so it's activated. So. That's one wire, and now I'm gonna walk through how we take this code and quickly duplicate it so that it works for the blue wire. And then you should be able to take that and create as many uh, wires as you want. Just one note before we do that is the costume for the, all the costumes here, important that you keep them in the middle, or all the sprites, um, because then it'll make the connections look nicer especially this uh, sprite 3 which is like the mouse cursor okay let's go back into uh, this sprite 3 here the sprite that follows our mouse around now let's look at the code that we're going to need to uh, duplicate to make the blue wire work everything here is for setup basically and now over here is where we start getting into some of the specific red sprite code so let's just duplicate that and now replace anything that's red with blue, including this color here. We'll go to blue. Oh yeah, it's going to do that again. Color goes to blue, of course. Don't go to red one, go to blue one. This is kind of the benefit of naming your sprites nicely because you can go through and change your code so quickly. Um, all this is normal, right? doesn't have any red in it. And look, red 2, we'll change that to blue 2, and red wire to blue wire. Easy enough. Test that out. We should be able to get this feature. Oh no. What's wrong? It's not working. Oh, I missed one. <laughs> I'm off today. It's like six errors. Sorry, everyone. Uh, that's blue 1, right? Should have caught that. There you go. It doesn't stick. That's okay because we still have to code the wire. And we're going to take this thread here. It's, de it's definitely important that these are in different threads because of the wait until. Set of red wire we replace with the blue wire. Go to blue 1, point towards blue 2. The color effect, I know because I had to look it up. It's 125 for blue. Repeat until touching blue 2, because it needs to move through until it touches blue 2. Let's take a look at this game here. Incredible. Nice. Now, see, 1-1, one, one, excellent. Completed. My wires are great, and we can even test it and see if the blue one can attach the red. It cannot. And vice versa. Excellent. So I'm going to go ahead and just create a third one here. Okay, there you go. I uh, duplicated a few of these uh, threads and blocks of code. I added a green wire variable, and then I just had to change um, all the color information to green. And now, it should work. Oh no, it's disappeared. I need to move my uh, little variables out of the way. I can hide these as well if I wanted to. Now let's check out our game. Uh oh. I made a big mistake. I didn't set my green wire back to zero, the start. 
course. There will be mistakes when you copy code like that. So you have to make sure that you look through it a couple times. Here we go. Excellent. Let's try that again. So there we have it. This is the Among Us wiring task in Scratch. You could do this with an unlimited amount of wires. You can also randomize the position of these wires, or these uh, wire twos, I guess, the color two uh, sprites, and uh, you know, make it more and more complicated. So thanks for watching. Of course, like and subscribe. Um, this has been me, Jim, from Digital Adventures. Uh, see you next time.